you here. We made it. Part 7. We're going to look at dressing your tires. So you've gone through everything already. Your car is all looking nice and clean. You've cleaned your wheel wells, your tires, your rims. You've washed your car. You've waxed your rims. You're all set up. Now you just got to dress your tires. Very easy process, um, especially when I show you a couple of things. Sometimes people overcomplicate it. Pretty easy to do. Um, but what do you actually do? And, you know, we've got to close out the series, right? got to close it out with a nice way. So let's go and head right over to it, show you guys what to do. So what do you need to get this job done? Well, assuming you've done everything, you're just going to need two things, really. You need some type of tire dressing, this one here, um, and an applicator. Now, if you saw the last video where we went through all the different types of tire dressings and stuff, we went through this one, which is a foam base, we went through a water base, we went through a gel, whatever you use, you just need something like that and you need an applicator. I'm going to stick with the foam here today, but use whatever works for you. Now, a few things to point out. Uh, before we go ahead very quickly, whatever tire dressing you use, try and stay away from silicone based dressings or trim dressings, anything like that. They tend to brown out the tire, um, so you get this kind of brown look to it, and it also dries it out. It won't dry it out enough to damage it to the point where it may explode or something, but you'll see that after three or four years if you're using the same silicone based one, you're going to start seeing lots of cracks and stuff that's going to happen on there. That's what silicone does. It gives you actually a very rich shine. But also at the same time, too, it ruins the tire and, and it looks really bad after a few days. Another thing to point out is dressing the tire is one of the last things I do. I've already washed the car, obviously, cleaned the wheel wells, and I've uh, waxed, uh, well, I have waxed the rims, actually, I just cleaned the rims. But if you wax the rims or anything, you do that as well. Um, but let's just say now, you go, before waxing the rims, you go ahead and dress your tires. Then you wax the rims afterwards. Well, if you get a little bit of wax onto your nice dressed tire and everything like that, well, you got to wipe, wipe that wax off right away. Otherwise, it'll stain the tire and leave it, it'll be very hard to take out later on. So you do that, then you got a little bit of a blotch in your dressed tires, and it looks bad, and then you got to redress it anyways. The other way around, I've waxed the rims now, and if you go ahead and dress the tire, um, then if you get a little bit of dressing, if you obviously if you're using an applicator, you really shouldn't get any on the rim. But if you do, it would be very minimal. You just grab a microfiber or something, clean it off, and it won't really ruin the finish of the wax. So doing it that way, you actually will minimize any potential work that can come up later on. Now, some, like this one here, they advertise as, you know, no wiping, sorry, no wiping, no rubbing, no mess. You're supposed to just spray this on and leave it. Anyone that says that, I don't follow it. Uh, the reason for that is you run the risk of splash damage on your rims. You spray this, you can get it, uh, you know, you spray it on here, it can rub over onto your rims, you make a mess of it. As it runs down, as it dries off, check out the um, the tire dressing test video, the number six part to this. It'll show you all what I'm talking about. It runs down, it makes a mess, all of them kind of do that. So I always just spray directly on the applicator. Let's get right to it, shall we? So I've got the applicator, and give this a good shake. And we're just going to spray that right on. It's going to take even motions right on the tire. Starting off by moving crossways like this, instead of like this, so you can get a good application on there. Now because of the foam on this here, you can actually get in close by the rim without getting on the rim. Just kind of don't put it on as you're wiping, you kind of move in and you can get right in there. I also tend to want to move a little bit up on the tread, just so you're kind of getting that, because what as you drive, That'll wear off, but it'll give you a much more uniform look because it'll kind of move along to the tire itself. So you just go ahead and apply that on. If there's somewhere that's a little tighter to get, depending on the tires, depending on the rims, move this on the side, like this here, for example. Right, if you get some, for example, sometimes getting into the letter is kind of hard to do this way. So you go over here. work it in as you go don't rush it go. 
Now a few things to point out for you. So number one, you see the finish on there, it's still fairly wet, it'll take a minute to dry. And you can see that I did not get any on the rims, even if you go really close to the lip. You can see none at all. And I also missed the bottom here, that's deliberate. Because as you put this on, you gotta give it a minute to dry. You do want it to settle in, into the rubber. So while this for me happens, I move on to the other four, uh, three tires. And I may actually even do things like if uh, glass cleaning is one of the last things I do as well. So I may go and get some glass cleaner and clean that up in the meantime. Let this kind of soak into the tire. And then once that's done, I'll actually move the car just a bit. Just so you can get this slip down here. And then from here, you just finish up the remainder. When I'm all said and done, you have a nice clean shine and a nice shiny rim. All right, so that's it. Seven parts uh, with two kind of sub parts, two different ways to do it. So we're looking at nine videos in total, how to clean your tires and rims. Seems like a lot, really. But actually, when you actually really do it and you kind of get right to it, it doesn't take that long to do. It's just me just kind of explaining things to you, showing different options, different things. But it's actually a pretty easy job to do and you can do it so that it looks amazing and it really comes out looking really nice hopefully this video has helped you guys out and all the videos that preceded it as well um i do want to thank you very very much for watching if there's anything you see now i know especially when it comes to cars everyone has different ways of doing things and what one person may do someone may do better if you guys see anything that you do that would actually help enhance the whole process maybe make it easier leave a comment below make sure you put it in so the community can see that um if you didn't like something or anything that you do dislike the video let me know why as well having that feedback was always great and of course make sure you like and subscribe too i always appreciate that once again thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video